Hey guys, welcome to Whitney's Watch List. Today I am reviewing Little Women. All right, let's get into it real quick. All right, it was written and directed by Greta Gerwig. Gerwig. Um, starring a lot, okay? We've got Emma Watson, Florence Pugh, Eliza Scanlon, Timothy, Ch Tim <laughs> Timothy Chalamet, and Laura Dern, and Saoirse Ronan. Her name, I do know how to pronounce because I follow her on Instagram and she had a video on how to pronounce her name. So I need all actors to do the same, please. Okay, I have a bone to pick with Little Women. I should preface this video with, I did not read the original novel, so let's start there, okay? Uh, mostly because that was not my time period and I was not forced to read it in school and I probably will never pick it up, so. I read some articles on the differences between the actual books and the movie, okay? And let me just clarify those differences for those who may not know. So Little Women is about these young adult women who are raised in like Civil War time, like a middle class life, and they're dealing with the pressures of being a young woman at this time and fighting for independence and the struggle between what society is telling them they need to be versus what they want to be and marriage and how that comes into play with their independence and all that. I had a huge issue with the way this story went down. Okay, so in the book, apparently Joe's character ends up with this frumpy old man, okay, who doesn't appreciate her writing and isn't even attractive. He's basically like, somebody she just settles for. But in the movie, there's this constant like push-pull, right, of her and Lori's character, played by Timothy Chalamet. And he ends up marrying her sister. Excuse me? First of all, her sister knew goddamn well that she shouldn't have gotten involved in that. Like in the moment where Lori reveals that he's interested in Amy, she is pissed off because she's got a great prospect. He made mad money. She about to be set, okay? And then he's like, actually, I do want you. And she's like, mm, don't try to act like you won't come for me now that you couldn't get my sister. I'm not gonna do that. But then she like turns around and actually does decide to get with him. What kind of sisterhood is that? You knew that there was something there between him and your sister and you just go and try to infiltrate that anyway. And then when you come back home, you hold your breath to figure out what she's trying to say. If you were scared of what your sister might think of that relationship, why would you do that in the first place? I'll wait. I thought that was rude. That was incorrect and not okay. <sighs> Moving on. Before she finds out that her sister even married this man, she's psyching herself up thinking, okay, maybe it will work out with him. Maybe he's coming back home. I'm gonna shoot my shot. She finds out that her sister's married him. So now she's just kind of like, okay, let me process that. Then homeboy from like wherever comes back in a picture who was like editing her projects at the beginning of the movie, all of a sudden gonna pop up, right? Like he's interested. And she ends up with that guy, or at least Greta wants you to think that she does, or she leaves it to the viewer to interpret what's real and what's not. Because this ending happens alongside a discussion with the publisher of how he thinks the book should end versus how Joe thinks the book should end. Let me break it down to you like this. I personally feel that Joe ended up not marrying anybody. She decided to stay true to herself. She decided to be a free spirit. She didn't get it locked down by anybody. And she chose to marry off her character, which is a pseudo autobiography for the sake of sales, okay? And there's this whole theme of marriage being a business transaction, not only in real life, but only in books and literature as well. I don't think that the ending was actually what really happened. I think it was just what we wanted to think happened. But here's my problem with that. That wasn't the ending that the viewers wanted. The viewers wanted to see Joe and Lori together. Okay, and then it was like mad sad with like the sister dying and all that. Like it was a lot. <sighs> okay, now that I've gotten that out the way, the costumes were amazing. The acting also was very good. Uh, and I think the actress who plays Amy, which was Florence Pugh, she did a really great job in the flashbacks of playing like a young little sister. She did really great at being like the brat. That worked really well. 
I think I heard some murmurings that Emma Watson's character really wasn't exciting. There really wasn't much to her role. And I don't think there needed to be. Honestly, I think that her character needed to be just very like, even Steven, nothing exciting, nothing dull about her kind of character. Laura Dern was great. I mean, she plays like a great mom. That worked well. And Timothy Chalamet, 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 he did a great job also. I mean, but he's just an amazing actor. I love him. He's like a little skinny little twig, but he, Dan, he can act, you know? I really liked how the film marked time. I think it did it really well. When we were in the flashbacks, they were warm and happy and there was something familiar about their upbringing. It felt like you could think of your own childhood and think if you had siblings and think of interactions that they had. And even the fight scenes were real. Like when Amy burned her book, ooh, I feel like I thought back to some fights I didn't have with my sister. That was like a little real scene. So that was pretty accurately portrayed as far as their sisterhood and their relationship with one another. And then when we were in the present, um, it was like cooler and somber and sad. So you really understood time shift very well in the movie. You weren't really confused a lot. You, you pretty much knew what time period you were in. And also if you kind of followed Sersha's hair, you could kind of stay with it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like halfway through the movie, I was like, okay, wait, what is this about? <laughs> I've seen the preview a bunch of times and I generally wanted to see it because I love period films and I obviously love the actresses involved. Oh, how can I forget Meryl Streep? Oh my God, Meryl Streep is in this. But you know what, honestly, Meryl Streep had such a small role. She just plays like this rich aunt. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't that significant. It's not like she had a huge, huge role to play. I really feel like I was watching like a female version of like 1800 Seinfeld. Like, Halfway through the movie, I was like, wait, wait, what is this actually about? There wasn't a real goal. You kind of just felt like you were watching these young women live. And that was the movie. Just their day to day. This is their life. This is what's going on. And these are their struggles within womanhood. But after a while, I was like, where is where is the direction of this film? Because it wasn't like there was like a a romance that was driving the film. And there wasn't like a clear goal of her being published that was driving the film. So you were kind of just watching life happen. So I found myself a little bored. I'm not going to lie. I was like, okay, wait. With all that said, this is a you can wait. It is. I, I think the cast is great and I think the production was great. And I know that this is based on a book. So it's really not much to be said about the story here. You know, it's an American classic that was converted for, you know, today's modern film. But is this a must-see? No. Was it super exciting? No. Will it piss you off? Yes. Those are just my feelings on it. The original author is Louisa May Alcott. I feel like I can identify with her original audience and being pissed off at the ending. You're like, why are you gonna do Joe like this? So you feel like, okay, fuck it, you'll marry her off and then you're gonna marry her off to somebody that we don't even care about. Like it was done on purpose. Like, you know, we shouldn't really care about her being married and in all that she should want to forge her own path and not need to be connected to a man to be great. And sure, but at the end of the day, like you just love a good romance and you didn't get that in this film. I was kind of hoping for that in this film and I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get it, so. For that reason, it is a you can wait for me. Tell me your thoughts. I want to hear them. Check out this video, that video, or go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.